Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. I went out and checked my mail today and I got in something that I uh, backed on Kickstarter as kind of a joke because I didn't really think it would go through. And I thought, well, if it does, that'll be fun. But it went through and um, $20 later, here we are. And today we are looking at Erect 7. This is the Kickstarter. Um, comes with a little card here. On the other side is a website where the manual is. It's the only way to get the manual apparently. So if you want to play, better download that. But this is a game about um, erections. So this is not going to be suitable for all ages. This is definitely for adults. So if you are not an adult, you should shut this off right now. Otherwise, uh, we're going to look at something that's a little more grown-up oriented. So let's get right into it. You've had your chance to stop watching. Beyond this, you were warned. So let's start with the main box. Uh, I'll put this out for you to look at. A little QED there. Or whatever they're called. Alright, these are hot off the press. I got it from uh, China, uh, like I said today, uh, when I was filming this. So, this is literally something I haven't seen either. There's no time for reviews to be out on it because it just came out. Alright, so it's a neat little box. It's like a ring box. These are smaller cards than what you'd normally get. They're... About six uh, millimeters, which translates to about not quite two and a half inches in American, and uh, about a little over an inch to half inch and three quarters wide. And for those of you in the rest of the world, that's about four and a half millimeters. So they are not big cards, and it is a fairly hefty stack. So let's go over these. Now, basically, what you're looking at is um, mildly disturbing. So there's a girl, another girl, another girl, fourth girl, a different girl, a second one of her, a third one of her, a fourth one. That's an antibiotic. <laughs> a second antibiotic third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh, eighth, and then we've got a Viagra, uh, well, a blue pill to simulate like Viagra. We've got a second one, third one, then we've got a hand, second hand, third hand, Scissors, <laughs> another pair of scissors, third pair, and that is effectively to um, cut someone's cards out. And uh, those cards are actually the penis. So as you can see, there's an image of a, of a person up here. There's another card different colors, there's a different type of card, another one, and these are all, um, these are the condom ones, to protect you from the venereal disease, there's a uh, bare flesh, and you can see there are some duplicates, because you're going to want to um, have different cards, I believe. You have to have uh, seven cards in order to uh, finish, as it were. So there, there is quite a few cards here. And uh, they're actually fairly good quality. They're a little thin. But they're, uh, they're not bad. They've got nice coating. Uh, they made enough money, I think, to get the slightly higher grade card. 
They have a real nice smooth feel. They're not slick, uh, but they are a little thin for my taste. Um, <laughs> taste. So, yeah, there is, uh, there is that. But I don't think they're going to hold up real well. It's more of a gag gift for um, mature people. Uh, a lot of younger people will probably giggle at this, but uh, I know a lot of a lot more people, especially older people, are probably just going to hate it. I think it's silly. Now notice that these two do not connect, so you this tells you where the up or down. I think. So you have to have the connection pieces, and you have to have one of each, I believe. And the scissors uh, cut a card out. Let's see, like, these go together. And there's always so much of each card. But it's definitely a more adult-oriented game. Not unlike uh, Cards Against Humanity or something like that. There will be a lot of people that are morally indignant about games like this. But it is intended for an adult party game. For people with uh, disturbing senses of humor. Like this is an infected one. You can see the little dots. It's got the, the VDs. And there's a few of those on here. And that's what the antibiotic pills for. It lets you cover up one of these with one of the other cards as I recall. Now what's really annoying is that you have to download the rule book. I don't like that. I think that's a little lazy. And here's a finishing shot. Another one. Different girl. Different girl. Different girl. Blonde girl again. Um, I assume that's an Asian. <laughs> a purple haired girl. That girl. And here's your, your gentleman. And you'll see these are the different player ones. Third guy, fourth guy, fifth guy, and lastly the sixth guy. So that's the core deck. Now if you want the rule book, the uh, user manual is located at um, HTTPS G O O O dot G L slash W Z. I'm sorry, W lowercase capital Z, capital B, capital V, capital Y, lowercase f. And that is on the Googles. And um, it is a PDF download. So I will post that in the description, hopefully, if I remember. Uh, but yeah, it's the uh, web address right here if you can read that, but you probably can't. All right, so then we got this bonus pack thing as part of the Kickstarter. Um, I believe this is just dude faces for you to finish on. I'm going to try and carefully open this because it's kind of a big envelope. And I think it's just got some seven or eight cards in there that and I don't want to screw them up oh okay these are the lady boys so here you've got a really creepy looking lady boy and then a dude. And then these are the guys from the starter getting sprayed in the face. Or misted from the look of it. Looks like a misting bottle. So yeah, we've got three different um, lovely... Uh, um, chicks with dicks, as Steve Shives would say. So that is what is inside the Erect 7 game. Um, there's a lot of cards here. 
It's definitely adult oriented, so you don't want kids playing this. It's very inappropriate to play anywhere near children. So uh, look for it. I don't know, it, you know, if you're into adult party games, this would be a fun, goofy one to play with your friends and to annoy your significant other because they're probably going to hate it. Um, if not, that's a keeper. So uh, it's definitely more of the adult theme, like I said, like Over the Line or Cards Against Humanity. Both of which I, I do enjoy. I have a very um, raunchy sense of humor sometimes. So, but it's definitely a group effort that you're going to want to check with the group to see uh, how they feel about it. Because uh, it's definitely not for everyone. And I don't know how far they're going to go with this. I think they're probably not doing a whole big print run beyond the Kickstarters. But if you hear about it and you're looking for it, this is what you can expect. The cards are pretty good quality, actually. I'm real impressed with that. They're definitely better quality than I expected. They are a little small and they're a little thin. If they were the size of like uh, regular trading cards, it would probably be a lot more expensive. Uh, but I would probably prefer that a little bit. These little ones are harder to take care of. They at least make sleeves for the regular size cards. But um, other than the thinness of the cards, I don't really have any complaints. It's a pretty disturbing little game, but um, there's something out there for everybody. So this definitely isn't going to appeal to everyone, but what are you going to do? But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.